Welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to create a polygon shape file in RGIS Pro. So let's get started. So to create a polygon shape file in RGIS Pro, go to the option called view. So now click view and click the option called catalog pan. So now here a window has popped up saying catalog. Now choose your desired folder location to create a polygon shape file. So let me click this. So now let me create a shape file in this specific folder. You can create a shape file in your own desired folder. So now let me create in the, from this folder. Right click. So now right click on my project and click this option called new and go to the option called shape files. So now a new window has been popped up saying geoprocessing. So now now choose your feature class location here and type the feature class name. So now let me type as a polygon. So now I have typed the, typed the feature class name as a demo polygon. So now let me select my geometry type. So in this video, we're going to cover how to create a polygon shape file. So now let me select the polygon. Now next choose your desired coordinate system. So click this option, choose the current map. So you can also select your own coordinate system of your choice. For that, select this option called select coordinate system. So now here you can select your desired projection. You can type the projection name here and you can search for your desired projection. So in my case, I'm going to use WGS 1984 Web Mercator. So I've selected this and click OK. So now to create a ship file, you all, all you have to do is click this option called Run. So now a new ship file has been created, which is indicated in table of content then as indicated as the ship file called Demo Polygon. So now let me close this uh, geoprocessing windows. So now so now for now we're going to create a polygon from this uh, specific location called Denver. So we're going to digitize the different water bodies are present in this polygon. The different water bodies are present in this specific study region. So you can able to visualize here. The blue color is indicated in the Denver uh, region. You can uh, visualize several water bodies being located here. So each of this blue color indicates the different water bodies are available in this study region. So now we're going to digitize all these water bodies here. So now to start digitizing your uh, water bodies in this study region, we're going to use the specific uh, file called demo polygon. So we're going to draw a polygon around this water body. So for that, go to the option called edits. So now click edits. So in that click this option called create a features. So now a new window has been popped up here indicating a create features. So now click this option called demo polygon layer. So now we have a variety of tools that is available in this uh, create feature tool. So in this I'm going to specifically select this polygon that is create a polygon feature. So now I have selected this uh, create a polygon. So I've selected this specific uh, tool called create a polygon feature. So now let's start drawing a polygon around the water bodies. So now let me start uh, digitizing this water body. So now I have, uh, so now I have digitized this water body. So now to finish the sketch, double click this option, or click this option called finish. So now the polygon has been completed, and this polygon has been now highlighted in uh, blue color. So you can uh, click this option called right click, go to the uh, demo polygon, right click, select this option called attribute table. So now you can visualize the record of this polygon. So here you can able to visualize here the record of this polygon has been created in the attribute table. So now let us digitize other water bodies available in this study region. So now to clear the selection you can click this option called clear. So the highlight has been removed now. So now let us create other water bodies in the let us digitize other water bodies in this area. So now let me digitize this particular water body.
So now let me digitize a specific quarter body. So to, to complete the sketch, double click this option. So double, uh, double click to uh, and or you can click this specific option called finish to apply the changes or to, com to complete the current sketch. So now let me click this option. So in the attribute table you can visualize we have three different polygon indicating three water bodies in this study region. So now you can visualize we have digitized around six different water bodies in this study region. Now to save the edits, go to the option called edit section and click this option called save edits and click S to make uh, to save all the edits you have done. So in the attribute section, it is indicated around six polygons. So suppose if you want to add a, a field called name, you can add a field by clicking this option called add field. Now let me click this option. So now let me create a field called name and select the data type as text. So I have selected the data name as name and the data type as text. So now to create the new field, click this option called save. So now let me close this. So in the attribute table, you can now visualize a new field created called name. So you can give the name of this water body using the specific field called name. So now I have entered the name of this water body as W1, W2 up to W6. And make sure that you click this option called save to make sure that to save all the edits you have made. Click yes to save all edits you have made. So now you can also highlight your polygon using this specific option. You can click this. So you can click in this way. So to highlight the water body you have selected. So to remove the selected feature, you make sure that you click this option called clear selection. So once you have digitized the polygon feature in your study region, make sure that go to the project and save. So this is how you can create a polygon shapefile in RGIS Pro. So once you've completed all your edits, make sure that you click this option projects and save your projects. So in this video, I have shown you how to create a sh polygon shapefile in RGIS Pro. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.